And we are live. And we are Hello, live. The community, welcome and back. We uh, are we're live. To Tuesday's AMA and live stream. Uh, I'm John. I'm the CEO over at Safe Moon. I'm gonna let each of the team introduce themselves individually to the new folks in the community. Thomas, take it away. Hey, Thomas. I'm CTO. Um, do I do nerd things? Yeah, that's. <laughs> <laughs> He's our. Uh, He's the, main, he's the main guy for uh, all the development work. Hank. And Hank is muted. Nice. Nice. Hi, guys. I'm Hank. Uh, I'm the director of software engineering. I work with uh, Thomas and the rest of the developers on what whatever needs done, uh, primarily the website, the Discord, uh, the game apps that we're going to be working on, things like that. So, fashionably late, darling. How are you doing, guys? What's happening? Hey, party started. Look at, look at that. Oh, yeah. look at Thomas is going crazy. <laughs> Woo! His beard is. Missed me. Always. Are you guys Always. doing all good? I'm sorry, I'm a bit late. I was um, currently just having a bit of barbecue food, a bit of you know barbecue chicken, no some worries. other important things in life. And now I focus for safe mood. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, no worries. Uh, we're just going through introductions, so perfect. Uh, ben, if you want to introduce yourself to the, all the new folks. Well, listen, if you don't know who I am, then you live under a rock. However, <laughs> I'm, joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. My name is Ben Phillips. I'm a YouTuber, uh, but essentially as well, I'm, a, I, I'm everything right now. I'm wherever you want me to be. Just don't tell your wife. Carry on, let's go. <laughs> all right, sweet. All right, so we got a lot of great stuff in the works here at Safe Moon. Uh, I'm going to give a quick update what we worked on, kind of cover some of the stuff we uh, said we would uh, cover in this AMA and the last AMA. Um, all right, just want to remind everyone, white bit, going to use my favorite word, white bit is imminent. You probably saw some images floating around on the Discord and the Twitter. Um, not going to really comment on those, uh, but because uh, like we can't really officially comment, go Google what an NDA is, please. Do me a favor. Um, but yeah, it's imminent. Very imminent. Um, they did want me to say... Uh, do not deposit anything with SafeMoon on their site until we announce it officially. So, and we'll leave it at that. Uh, other thing, Bitmart. Bitmart's coming in here, you know, soonish. Um, we're right now working contracts, uh, negotiating some of the stuff out. Uh, I love them, though. They're fantastic to work with. I wish I could give uh, the, the Bitmart rep a public shout out. Um, but I'm not going to, you know, release his name, but he's been absolutely fantastic. Awesome to work with very quick on responses. And he's a, he's a, a late night worker like me, like a workaholic. So, um, I can always reach him. Great guy. Uh, also Bibby Palm. Oh, we just, we just got out of a meeting with them. Went super well. Uh, Dogecoin again, officially going to be a trading pair on their platform. You can trade Dogecoin for safe moon. That's no secret. We do also like Dogecoin. Um, it, it's awesome. Uh, but yeah, we, we know it's going to be sweet. It's going to be a great trading pair. We do have two other ones, uh, I believe BTC and USDT. Um, but we'll, we'll confirm on those, but the main one that I care about Dogecoin. Um, anyway, keep an eye out on the socials, uh, underneath hashtag safe. Um, anyway, so that, that kind of covers the updates. Uh, we're going to kind of dive into the frequently asked questions portion of this, uh, AMA and stream. Um, so I'm going to be, uh, reading it out and answering it, uh, depending on what the question is. But if I can't answer it, I'll go ahead and field it to either Ben, Hank, or Trevor. All right, anyway, question number one. Uh, so the community is worried about whales and how they affect price, et cetera. I'm gonna be straight up and tell you, we will not comment on price. We will not comment on uh, conjecture of what's gonna happen with the price or the market, anything. We're not gonna answer any of those type of questions. And so just want to get that out there. No more. We're not going to answer those questions. Thank you. Um, anyway, so quite the number, the second question is, uh, I like this question, uh, is have you looked into the Asian markets? And the answer is, of course, of course. I'm already talking to, with uh, a couple of them in, in Asia. Um, however, Whitebit and both Bitmart and Bibby Palm will also be able to cater to the Asian markets. Now, I'm going to preface this depending on what your local municipality, country, Whatever, whatever their laws are regarding crypto, that's that's on them. We're not, yeah. So anyway, it we are looking at catering to the Asian markets. So, um, super excited for that. 
Uh, and I mean, kind of going into it, what's somebody asked, what's expected in April? Um, check the roadmap. It's been updated. Uh, but I can tell you right now, team, we're architecting the Safe Moon app. We're talking about use, uh, user interface and how that's going to work. Look, we're narrowing down the feature list and we're beginning to put, you know, code on paper. Well, code on a computer. So um, a lot of stuff. But check the roadmap. Um, and after we get through this, this, this structured AMA portion, um, then we'll, uh, we'll go to the Twitter and the Discord and kind of answer those questions about the roadmap. So please prep those questions and uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and answer them regarding the roadmap. So uh, somebody asked, uh, can you supply the real circulating, sorry, can you supply the real circulating supply on the website? Hank, how's that looking? Uh, I heard something yeah. about an API, custom API that we're building right now. So yes, uh, we are going to be displaying a lot more stats on the website. Um, something we have in the pipeline for you guys is we're actually going to be building our own API, um, similar to... You know, if you go to Coin Market Cap or Coin Gecko, we're going to be building our own aspect of Coin Market Cap. So uh, even if their websites go down, you guys will still have all that information, and we'll be logging analytics over time, so you can kind of see like, oh, here's the history for the last year, here's since we launched, etc. So it's really cool. We got a lot coming yeah. up. A lot, of, lot, lots coming up. Um... So this is this is a Thomas question. I'm going to be flat out. I'm not going to answer it. Thomas is going to answer it, but I'll go ahead and field it to you, Thomas. All right. So uh, they asked, can you clarify uh, about uh, like apparently like a 10% tax uh, when it comes to transferring your SafeMoon balance to the SafeMoon app and the SafeMoon wallet? It's a little bit too early to confirm anything right now. We're going through the architecture phase. So typically, you know, we're, we're going to look at that when we get there. So... That's all I've got there. I'm not going to say anything I don't know about. Yep. Um, somebody else, this has been a been a point that people keep bringing up. We covered in the last AMA. Uh, updating the logo on CoinGecko and CoinMarketCap. Um, we're working it. So we can only move as fast as we can on, on our end, and it's it's going to be up to them going forward. So we're, we're working with them to get that sorted out. We hear you. We see it. We're working it. So... Um, I'll leave it at that. Uh, question number nine. Um, I'm going to skip over that one uh, just because we, we covered it. Um, can the devs refute, uh, can the devs talk base? Okay, so somebody asked about the article that was written uh, written about us on uh, Medium. I'm going to be flat out honest, straight FUD. Did the guy read the contract? Has been watching the AMAs? I'm not saying he has it, not making any accusations. But to me, when I read that article, it didn't seem like he watched the AMAs or read the contract. Um, and for those in the media industry, reach out to us for a comment. We're, we're friendly people, more than happy to sit down, get on a phone call, get on a FaceTime, whatever you want, and talk about SafeMoon with you. Um, but anyway, just flat out that article, FUD. Um, anyway, we'll leave it at that. We're not, we're not worried. We're doing right. So, okay. Um, so question for Ben, actually, uh, Plans regarding expanding the reach on our social media platforms? Bloody hell. Well, <laughs> that's a great question. Um, I, I mean, like, look, it's, again, we are saying the same answer every week. You guys have the voice, and your voice is very important. I can tweet stuff myself, obviously. Safer can tweet that stuff. Everyone can tweet things. You know, whether it's Lil Yachty uh, posted a tweet last night, or you had uh, Jake Paul do tweets, you know, that's all fine. But essentially for safe when the conference is relying on basically the general voice, the general word of mouth, I think in terms of actually though expanding reach, let's hit it on the head, expanding reach itself. Um, I, I, I personally believe that on the education vibe again, I keep repeating myself because that is my main focus at the moment is educational videos, educational imagery. Um, but I do think that we need to reach out on, on the YouTube level and especially with cryptocurrency YouTubers. I think that's something that I've been trying to hit out recently. So if you guys have suggestions for good cryptocurrency YouTubers, uh, people who are you know invested in cryptocurrency, uh, non-financial advice, but invested in cryptocurrency who are actually, you know, look, I, I like this YouTuber. Maybe we don't want to talk to any idiots. We just want good people. But here's the point. It's not just about cryptocurrency YouTubers. Cryptocurrency is for everyone, not for just people. Just like money is not just for bankers, it's for humans to use in general. Just like cryptocurrency is not just for crypto pros, it's for everyone. So it's not just about cryptocurrency YouTubers. 
And again, I'm open for all suggestions from you guys. If you say, look, you know, tell you what, I actually like this person. I like the way they come across. Well, then first off, we've got to educate them for them to educate onwards. And it's just that simple process. A lot of YouTubers, a lot of Instagrammers, a lot of Twitter stars, a little where they actually have no idea. They actually have no idea. You know, people are still just like, is that a thing that just goes up and down? And if you put your money in it, does it make you more money or less money? That's not the point of this. You look at the the, the roadmap just being released last night uh, that John went through carefully. I mean, that roadmap doesn't just talk about financial stuff or financial gains or financial losses or anything. That roadmap is talking about, you know, actually in developing countries that need these projects to go out there and, you know, help them. The African markets, for example. Um, that roadmap talks about educational cryptocurrency apps. How exciting that that's even on there. You know, an actual educational crypto. Because you could be having, you know, a chat on there with someone like Thomas, for example, you know, who could be giving actual genuine insight of what this stuff does, not just on the front. Or you could be on a boring chat with Hank, you know, whatever you prefer. <laughs> Whatever wow. For us, though, it's a bigger picture. It's a bigger picture for us, and it's about getting getting the idea of cryptocurrency, getting the idea of safe moon um, in the right people's mouths, and um, nothing that's forced, because that's not what we're about. We're not interested. If they're not interested, we ain't interested. And I think the reason being that, taking myself, that me and uh, safe moon, have, and he said Facebook then, safe moon have made a good relationship uh, is because we naturally come together, and for me, uh, I was just saying to John today, you know, I literally saw a DM, which a lot of you DM me, but I saw one DM saying, Ben, hashtag safe moon from a guy called Reese. And I thought, what's that? What's that all about? And the next thing you know, I've got new friends, got new buddies. We're all here chilling on this live Twitch, chatting to you. and We've got a massive family and community. So that's what it's about. But in general, reach wise, I hear you. And um, I think it's about have the responsibility of whose voices we should show with such high followings, have the responsibility of whose voices and whose actual, actual valid points is important. And as we just said from John, you know, you said that guy who's done the article, uh, which is absolute bullshit, basically, you know, about the whole, uh, you know, they have no idea what it's I'll say it, John, you don't have to, I, I'm allowed to say it, bullshit, um, you know, from a non-credible source. If it was Forbes, it'd be a different story. But, you know, we're only, inter we're only interested in the big boys. But the point is, from places, you know, we've got to be careful whose voices whilst we're showing, you know, and, you never know if you've got idiots out there, but, you know, wolves in sheepskin, you know? We're only interested in sheep. So, <laughs> not sheep that way. We're only interested in nice, fluffy sheep. <laughs> but no, more... <laughs> Tom's like, I love sheep. But uh, listen, more importantly, and I think the end of it is that for you guys, you've been so great with hashtag SafeMoon. You've been so great in actually spreading the word. And you guys are the engine and the machine of SafeMoon. And and I'm I'm not I'm actually not just here to be, be like oh let's get the voice out of, oh, oh shit I'm, oh sorry I'm back am I back I don't know what happened then um uh, I'm yeah. actually not just here I'm actually not just here to shout out safe and everywhere I'm, I'm here to actually you know help with this ride going smooth and, and get involved so yeah reach will get bigger over time but obviously the more holders the more reach simple facts I think you nailed it on the head with that question so. Um, yeah, no, I agree completely with Ben. Um, it's all about the community and you guys have been absolutely fantastic. Love this new family. So, um, so th this next question, uh, uh, I'll field it. Uh, the question is, can you tell us more about the plans for the African market? All right. Uh, I, I've been talking to some people on the, on the discord and on Twitter and everything. And, uh, so I, I spent my younger years in East Africa. So I, Africa is a very near and dear thing to my heart. Uh, love it. Beautiful. Um, and so I'm very, I, I, we want to do stuff in, in Africa. Um, I can't comment, uh, officially on anything yet. We're working through some processes. Um, again, Google and NDA is, um, but we have some pretty, pretty lofty goals and that we're going to hit them. We're going to hit them. So, um, Africa, you can go check the roadmap. There's, there's a lot of stuff that we want to do there. Um, so anyway, near and dear thing to my heart. And I can, we can talk about it more after this, uh, this structured AMA portion. Um, anyway, uh, question number, so the next question that we had was, uh, do we plan on changing the name of safe moon that no, no, <laughs> um, not going to answer that again. So, and then, uh, for the last question in the structured portion, someone asked, can you guys make a uh, history timeline for how safe moon came to be? We're, we'll consider it, you know, we're. We're thinking about it. It's been uh, brought up in conversation um, for those of you, for the veterans in the group. Everyone remembers the Hardman dip. So um, 
but yeah, we'll uh, we'll consider it. So, all right. So that concludes the structured uh, portion of the AMA. We're now going to start taking questions from the Discord, and we're going to start taking questions from the Twitch. So, all right. I'm going. I'm personally. I'm going to go be in the AMA portion of the Discord chat. Um, I, I now, go and throw it on. I got a question for you off Twitch again. Come on, here off with some fire, John. A lot of people are saying it. What would the future plans be of Binance? Straightforward. Big, big shit, big talk. Come on, hit us. We are going to start uh, crowd donations and crowdfunding for that shortly. Um, we're, yeah, it's planning. We're planning on it. So if you, if you go look at the roadmap, um, we want to finish integrating with some large uh large platforms by q3 and q4 uh, of this year so imminent imminent my favorite word imminent <laughs> hashtag safe word. imminent it's not uh, my favorite word because you people so we're, we, we're gonna be starting uh yeah we're gonna be starting a crowdfund for uh binance you know get that ball rolling so so we're ready yes love it i think you should be on the front of the video john i think you should be the one you're the face man we're all behind you I love it. I love it. Um, that was a, that was a good question. Holy crap. <laughs> Starting that one off with fire. Um, <laughs> all right, let's see if we can, uh, somebody has a question that can match that. Um, okay. Not going to answer that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> holy crap. Okay. Guys, guys, these paragraphs, they're, they're huge. I can't, it's makes it hard to read. All right. Um, all right. All right. Okay. Bringing it back down a notch. Uh, what does Safe Moon stand for? Safe Moon. Safe Moon is Safe Moon. Uh, okay. Moon is Safe Moon. Okay. Uh, also, just keep the uh, that the AMA questions for questions. Thank you. Do we have anything from the Twitter? Do we have anything from the Twitter? Oh, a question. I gotcha. <laughs> Jack? When Jack? Yeah. Um... Holy crap, guys. Okay, we're going down to the bottom. A, a good one uh, that I just saw uh, is uh, how many people are on the team now? And We're expanding the team. Exactly. Yeah, so, so I, can, I can yeah, I can cover the, uh, the team aspect. So if you go check the roadmap, we're talking about expanding the team by, I believe it was 25, 30, 35% uh, by Q2, by the end of Q2. Um, and we're also going to be establishing a UK... Uh, office. That way we can cover more of the globe and always make sure there's somebody online, you know, and we're all, you know, we're, we're consistent. So, um, yeah. Uh, any questions regarding the, let's see, how to save, let's see, uh, Okay, I'm trying to find a question. Here, guys, help me out find a question real quick. Uh, yeah, I've gone with you. What is the plan for the wallet in the app? Will they, will, yeah, what is the plan for the wallet in the app? What, what is the plan for that? Is it just a general wallet? Does it transfer between things? I don't know, Thomas, what, we've, what does it do? We've got, some, we've got some cool ideas. Right now, we're going through an ideation phase where we're putting together all of the ideas from the community, what our MVP will look like. So, And that's a minimum viable product. So it's going to be a wallet. Um, you'll be able to create an address for uh, SafeMoon on it. You'll be able to check your balance, send your balance, uh, provide a QR code for people to send you stuff. So you show your QR code to somebody and they scan it with their phone and boom. Um, typical wallet stuff. Um, going forward, we're going to, we figured we would consolidate some of the effort and um, put our clicker inside of, so this game that we're making, we're going to put it inside of the app. Um, uh, some initial ideas, it's going to swipe a lot like um, Snapchat does, uh, bottom navigation, um, looking at React Native, um, we're looking at some cloud stuff because we know that we're going to have a lot of traffic, so we're kind of balancing the cost versus um, effect. Um, so we, we have a lot of really good planning going right now, and things are in architecture phase. So that's that's kind of the plan right now. We're we're not moving at a breakneck speed. Um, we're we're not trying to kill developers, but we're trying to include enough people that we have 24-hour um, progress. So that's going to be a fun thing to organize. Yeah, and and again, we're 
we're about sustainable growth. Um, I'm not going to comment on other, like call out specific other coins, um, but we're in this for the long haul. So we have to plan for the long haul. So we're building out the team. We're picking talented individuals for those teams. We're expanding to another office space. Um, so we have, so we, we can, you know, better utilize the 24 hours that are in our day. Um, so it's all about sustainability, sustainable growth, and, you know, keeping this, this thing going forward in a smart and efficient manner. So uh, one of the questions I did just see was, uh, I love answering this question. Uh, so the, uh, the uh, STPPP uh, asked, the roadmap talks about plans in Africa. What's the business rationale for focusing on this region? So I'll answer it in two parts. One, um, it's not always just about business. It's not always. I mean, you always keep that in mind because when you have a solid business model or a solid business, it's able to sustain itself. No offense to, you know, some of the nonprofits out there, but doing a project, like essentially building a project, but not having maintenance or sustainability in mind is um, not a good play because you hand them, you, you give something over and nobody knows how, to, knows how to fix it in six months, they're back to where they started. So it's all about sustainability. Um, but from the business aspect in terms of like, why Africa? It is a booming market, and cryptocurrency is is rather large in Africa. Um, please go Google Somaliland, for example. That's a prime example. Um, but it's it's a, an ever expanding market with so much potential and fantastic people, and so we want to be able to to work there as well. So. Hope that answers that question. Um, if any of you other, uh, if anyone else here has a comment, please feel free to share. Um, but that's that's my response. Um, I've got I've got something um, a little bit less um, to do with Africa. I, I just saw something float by. I've seen it like twenty times on on Twitch. Uh, my my hat is somewhere in my house. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's still it's still a lucky hat. It's it's within my proximity. So I feel like I'm still getting some kind of benefit there. I've seen uh, I've seen a few people ask uh, specifically um, beep bippity beep. Uh, he asked if we can make a video about wallet safety or ju Ooh. just in general uh, keeping you know uh, your accounts secure. Uh, we have a official YouTube channel now uh, where we're making informational videos on like just ideas about how crypto works uh what safe moon's all about you know we're, we're going to be putting a lot of videos on there so that's definitely an idea uh and something we can do on, on our official channel yeah that's a yep. that's a really good idea cool uh so S macau 1027 asked um basically he asked uh have you considered using the 5% to offer scholarships to wallet holders to get more student interest and compete with some of the new student coins? I will have you guys go look at Q4 of this year on the roadmap. So we specifically talk about scholarships there or a scholarship, uh, a safe moon scholarship. So go look at the roadmap. Again, everyone go look at the roadmap. It's updated. Please look at it. Oh, somebody asked, uh, can you talk more about the SafeMoon Exchange and what is planned for Q2? So, not going to comment on the SafeMoon Exchange, not just yet. So, we'll uh, look at the roadmap. You know, we'll, we'll talk about that later on in uh, future AMAs. But uh, we have some pretty big stuff here in the works at SafeMoon. Um, so, but for Q2, I can actually go over, over Q2. Um, so, uh, wipe it, Q2, um, completion of the SafeMoon app, the wallet, uh, and one of the first games that we're going to be releasing. Um, the BitMart integration with Tokenomics um, should be completed that quarter. Uh, we'll also begin architecting that NFT exchange, um, as well as starting to work with, in, with other video games for integrations there. Um, we're going to be integrating SafeMoon with uh, African markets uh, starting in Q2. Uh, we're going to be starting that process more in Q2. Um, and we'll also be exploring other uh, other exchanges. For example, finance. We're going to be starting a fundraise for that. Um, we're going to do a charity drive as well as a charity vote. 
um, on what what that uh, those those donations should be used towards. We'll also be expanding our team and we'll be establishing a UK office. So that's that's what we have planned for Q2. Oh, forgot one more thing. We'll also begin architecting a crypto educational app and onboarding new partners. So that's Q2. Um, one that I've seen a few times is how is the app as well as the games uh, going to add to the value of SafeMoon? Um, well, having our own wallet is is speaks for itself. Uh, that the app's purpose is pretty clear, but we, you know it gives us a lot of opportunity to do. Um, you know, our own things, we can make sure that there's a security and kind of a backing there. Uh, the games, it'll give you, a, one, a larger reach, because if we can advertise the games out to everybody and get more people to know what SafeMoon is, that's not only going to help our marketing, but, you know, it gives back to the community and gives you, you know, uh, a further sense of... Uh, yeah, you, and also, along. the community asked for it, so we're going to deliver. Community-driven, fair launch, D5. So, um, all right. Uh, question, are... question, question uh, yeah. John or Thomas. How do you make it easier for U.S. Uh, investors to buy? Mm. How are you going to make it easier for investors to buy? Yeah. I got that. Bitmart. Bitmart is uh, compliant here in the United States. They have certifications, whatever else. Uh, and so that's why we're working quickly with Bitmart to get contracts done and begin the integration process there. They have fiat on-ramping. With there and they also offer a variety of trading pairs um so last night i, I hit up the discord in the uh, civilized technical analysis chat and uh ask them for hey ethereum or bitcoin trading pair and uh they said bitcoin so that's what we're rolling with now unless uh you know other people have a better idea so we're doing usdt and uh bitcoin that's that's the plan right now um with with uh bitmart specifically so Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, is there uh, is there a point is there a point of safe moon is there a point of safe moon staking with tokenomics? Uh, yes, I don't understand that. So with, with that with the one, hat one you, you have you have a staking a similar to staking mechanic. When the token reflections happen and you're just hodling, then you receive more for hodling. It's just how, how it works so in the same way it's kind of like staking you know when you stake more you get more it's, it's a very straightforward thing so in a way we're, we're kind of a, a newer type of staking i guess you could call but then cool. you you still have access at any time we're, we're not locking you into a period of time where you need to stay staked and what if the market moves whatever you know you, you can use it when you want to use it that's most important i think that's really important with as well, Thomas, I think you're right. They're given essentially control to your own wallet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't want to be a bank and uh, and be like, oh, well, you, you bought a computer on the Internet. We're going to turn your card off. No, I'm not going to tell you how to spend spend your tokens. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ooh, this is a good question um, from Gaming Rich Duff. Um, the question is, uh, we mentioned creating games and integrating with games in, uh, in future quarters. Uh, is there any talks with indie games and creation of NFT items in games? If you looked at previous AMAs or, you know, floating around the Discord, Twitter, Telegram, whatever, you already know that's we wanted to integrate NFTs into games. So our NFTs into different games. And so, yeah, we are looking at, a, at, at developing and working with other video games to get NFT items. So you can bring those items with you to the next game, whatever it is. So that's that's the ultimate goal with the video games. And we also will be developing our own video game in-house as well that will incorporate NFTs and NFT items in the game. So. Cool. <laughs> There's a lot of questions saying about uh, white bit, but the thing is, like John said, imminent. Imminent, that's it. That's the only answer you get, imminent. Imminent. <laughs> Um, Crypto House says, what's up, guys? I'm a YouTuber. I go by Crypto Jesus. What's up, Crypto Jesus? Um, I would love to be on your show. Send me a DM. Crypto, is that at Crypto Jesus on Instagram, bro? Or is that just Crypto Jesus on YouTube? Crypt, Crypt Zero House on Twitch. 
So let's let's Good. figure out what the uh, we'll figure out the deets. Shoot yep. me a DM on Discord. Yeah. Um, so Prime Gaming, uh, I'm not going to pronounce the rest of that, uh, said what roles would be needed to be filled in the UK office. We're working through that right now, um, but ideally developers, um, some back-end admin staff as well, uh, but we're working through those specific requirements. Uh, when, when will when will <laughs> when will Satan get on uh, Twitter? It's dollar sign. I say I don't know how they pronounce that. When will it get? It's dollar sign SFM. Mm. When Jack? Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> when Jack? It, I think that's a point. I think that's a point. Get on exchanges. To be honest with you, it automatically comes across where uh, it'll get verified naturally by the people looking after the Twitter cryptocurrency sections. Um, and I know that they've increased their cryptocurrency team massively, um, uh, w which soon a lot of you who tweet about hashtag safe moon, if you're tweeting decent stuff um, on Twitter, will actually be appointed as a recognized voice uh, on safe moon. Um, so something to keep in mind that if you are heavily in safe moon and you, you do care about, you know, what's going on, you're giving straight good facts to the actual general public, you'll be recognized and appointed as a, a, a trusted voice on Twitter. So. I know that because I'm, I'm going to become a trusted voice of anything I talk about anymore. So I've got to be careful. <laughs> Toilet roll was last week. There's a few questions that I've gotten in DMs and I've seen it on the Twitch chat. And it's, how do I enter the giveaway on the Discord? Uh, really simple. You just have to react using the ta-da reaction on the post. And you're entered to win. So really simple. Giveaway section. Go for it. How many holes there, Hank? How many holes come We actually? just break. Uh, we just broke 160,000. So. Yep. Well, hey, Hank. Congratulations. Yeah. 160,000, well and we're not even uh, listed yet on a uh, on an exchange. This is <laughs> power of safety, guys. Power of safety. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've got a great question from Twitch. Why did you choose to register the business of Safe Moon in Provo, Utah? Oh, good question. I, I really like uh, uh, Provo's uh, legislation or lack of legislation um, or their stance on um, on cryptocurrency itself. Um, I'm not a lawyer, so I'm not going to make comments about the legalities or specific legalities on it. Um, but it's also a very central location. They're very uh, business and startup friendly as well. Very crypto friendly. They consider it an innovation there. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's what that's why we picked it there. Uh, when Safe Moon hits White Bit, will you only be able to buy off wet White Bit or still be able to buy off Pancake? Both. Yes. Correct. Both. Both. Yes. Correct. Both. Yeah. So okay. us enabling an exchange, us us doing these deals and things will not preclude anyone from from using the tokens yeah. um, where they can be used. Yeah. Cool. 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 <sighs> I, I, it's not. It's not a silly question. It's it's really not a silly question. But um, will the price be different on uh, Pancake and Whitebit? I mean, uh, generally overall markets. Ooh, we don't. Yeah, they will be. Yeah, I mean that's something that we can talk about is um, bet between exchanges. In every case, there's going to be a small discrepancy. Different. Yeah. Cool. Going through the Discord, not. Uh, oh, how's the third-party audit going? Um, it's going. <laughs> contract signed, money paid. So, when audit. <laughs> yeah, when audit. No, uh, con contract signed, money paid. So it's, it's underway. But we're not Sertic. They're gonna do what Sertic does. So that's we'll just we'll, when we hear something, when we get the audit back, we'll announce it. So keep an eye on the uh, Twitter under hashtag Safe Moon, and uh, you can check Discord as well. So I just got a tag that says Papa, who is Mama. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that up to her if she wants to <laughs> out herself like that. Um, yeah. So I'm not gonna say should if she wants to. She will. <laughs> okay. Let's see. 
Um, somebody asked what we're doing in, in terms of the copycats. We're not the copycats. Um, there's only one safe moon, and that's us. And we're going to keep doing what we're doing and keep, you know, moving forward. So I'm not worried about them. So if uh, you guys do what you want to do, but safe moon, safe moon. Um, I got a question. Will the burn wallet tokens be taken out completely to reduce the total cir uh, circulating volume? I think that's more more of a problem, like when people are looking at the circulation, uh, cir the, the, the circulating supply on, on CMC or BSC scan. Uh, we're working with them to update those values right now, and we're having some, you know, back and forth with support. So once that's updated, it'll be updated. But if you want to find a more accurate what what the circulating supply is, just take the value they have and subtract what's inside the the burn wallet. We are coming up with um, our own burn tracker. Um, it's going to be on the website. Um, that's that's a Hank thing. So feel free to send Hank lots and lots of um, Ed Sheeran memes for me. Um, this is a really, a really good, thoughtful question about some of the stuff in <laughs> Africa. Um, so, some oh, it's more of a comment, and I'll, I'll expand on that comment. Um, they said infrastructure is always difficult on the African continent. Um, in the U.S., we we do have the advantage of having 130 years of uh, uh, telecom infrastructure already built up, uh, as well as power grids, uh, depending on where you're at. Um, and that uh, a lot of folks on the African continent do rely on cell phone cell phones. I mean, that's why we're building an app, first off. Android, iOS. Um, that way, everyone across the board, whatever, whatever you really have, um, it should be able to support it, uh, depending on your specific hardware requirements. Um, and we're very, very well aware of the, uh, the telecommunications infrastructure in Africa. Um, and yes, we have plans with that in that regard, um, in regards to the telecommunications infrastructure. We are looking at some stuff. I can't comment on it right now. Um, but there's big stuff coming down the line. So. Let's see. I've got one from Twitch. Um, this one's for Hank. It says, um, I'm in love with the shape of you. It's not really a question. But, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people on the uh, on the chat say merch, 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 merch. Um, I think uh, the merchandise is obviously wanted. I know you guys want merchandise, etc. Um, it's something that's been uh, worked on for the last two weeks properly, etc. And um, you know, as John would say, it's imminent. So uh, <laughs> the merch. However, I do think I do think that we could probably just um, maybe after this live or maybe tomorrow even just post up the teasers of what the merchandise looks like so everyone can see that and uh, yeah. maybe tomorrow throw up some teasers on Twitter so everyone can see the merchandise and um, release dates will follow probably with that as well for you guys. It's not it's nothing. Look, it's not about the merchandise. Not interested in it, but you know what? We are happy that you guys are supporting etc. And you know if you're rocking safe and you believe in safe then naturally have a hoodie and it's um it's it's more about we just wanted to put it there because we know a lot of you are proud like us to actually put the badge on on your chest and you know safe moon for life and what's not so um yeah it's it's just nice wholesome merchandise uh clothing from safe yeah so, so um, somebody asked a... Ooh, sorry here you go oh, i was gonna say uh so somebody asked about um uh how we choose uh, exchanges. Um, we're very careful about who we who we work with because um, we don't want to release on a bunch of different exchanges and go for a blast. We're looking for quality versus quantity. Um, and we're we prefer innovation um, over just you know whatever is currently going on in the crypto market. We're trying to change the space. So that's that's our focus. innovation and quality of the uh, the exchange. So that's how we choose. We're opening up crypto to all new audiences right now. Um, just, and I, I think people are kind of seeing that, you know, with, with the influencer attention that we're getting. Um, these audiences are largely not crypto first. Exposing them to the ideals in the space, um, I think is really important. So any, any influencers out there who are talking about us, like hats off to them. 
hundred percent. Yeah, I, I've I've had to help over like fifty people get it. Yep. Um. Okay. I'm right now just That's scrolling good, up. Good yeah. question, John. John, why baby pom? Basically, essentially, in the words of you know, why why would you bother? And I think sometimes to to let you answer, but I think sometimes it's the people who turn up to the table. If I'm correct, right? It's who turns up. Sometimes it's not you know. Yeah. Bibby Palm reached out to us. They're listing us for free and they want to innovate. Remember, I said quality over quantity and innovation is one of the key po points and they want to innovate. And so that's we're like, hell yeah. So we're going to innovate yeah. with them. And that's why, that's why, that's why Bibby Palm, you know, to put it in, in uh, everyone else's words. So, and they're, they've been great to work with really good team, great backgrounds. So, John, I just seen a good question. <laughs> are you planning on a real space or moon project? I, I don't know, John. Are we are we gonna send? I don't think we can comment world? on that. I don't think we can comment on that right now. <laughs> I don't know. I, know. I mean, like, I, don't know. I might have just texted John three days ago about <laughs> I have some dudes who can send something to space. We can uh we can uh, do a drive or a donation for that for sure and uh. Since no, John, the people want it. The people want it. <laughs> people want hey, it. guys. Aer aerospace friends. I've been in the industry for a little bit. Shoot me a DM. Let's talk <laughs> about it. Safe moon to the moon, guys. Safe moon to the moon. Oh, this is a very long one. Hold on. Uh, you guys uh, look at other questions. I'm going to try to summarize this one real quick. Oh, the, yeah. Okay. So uh, basically, it was uh, regarding Wipeit in the United States uh, on their site. Um, it has a disclaimer that you should not use it in the US. Uh, as I said before, that's why we also have Bitmark, you know, being released imminently. My favorite word. Um, so we're working with them right now. As I said before, contracts, negotiations, uh, and look up what, what an NDA is, please. So we're yep. working through that. Bit, but Bitmark will be able to cater to the United States. Definitely pay attention to your local loss. Please. Let's see. Yeah, we definitely do not recommend using a VPN and wipe it. <laughs> you that is a good way to lose your tokens and get locked. A lot of people, um, a few people are questioning this. Sorry, just answering something more from the influencer side of it. Um, you know, uh, can we can we get safe moon to pay for more tweets? Can we get safe moon to pay for more videos? This ain't a paying situation. This is actually about a knowledge situation, a word of mouth situation. Um, I mean, if, if we were doing an open marketing campaign, then yeah, let's go for it. Hashtag ad, let's do it. Because community funded, guys, let's go for it. No, see, we don't need to. The point is that the word is spreading so fast. Um, so when you say stuff like, what is the relation between Safe Moon and Ben Flips or, you know, Jake Paul or Yari? Actually, like, we all have one thing in common. We love Safe Moon. And that, that genuinely is it. And I think um, for myself, <laughs> Ben Phillips paid every tweet. I wish. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't be here on this bloody call if that was the case. I'm just going to the going, hello, chill out two seconds, brother. And no, come on, for God's sake. Um, I mean, John, uh, uh, yeah. but, uh, <laughs> help me. Help me. They've got me locked up in a cage tweeting. But no, the, uh, tell you what, true story, true story. Um, if you don't know, guys, I was going to be making prank videos for a long time on my YouTube, on my Instagram, etc. So a lot of you saying, Ben, go and post your Instagram and YouTube. It, it don't make sense because they are my prank fans, etc. That's the family I've built in there. I have this thing called Sorry Bro, prank my brother. My Twitter, though, I decided to be a lot more of the real me. And in doing that, that was like, actually, I just want to talk about stuff I like. And the biggest thing I like on my Twitter is cryptocurrency. And so it just happens that I've fallen in love with a couple of coins like Doge, fell in love with Holocoin, 
fell in love with Sia Coin, fell in love with like a uh, chain link originally, fallen in love with Safe Moon, guilty. Um, and naturally, it's come to the guys and said, Hey, I think I can help you, and I think together we can help each other. So I'm on board. There we go. That's the answer to that. And that's a good question, guys. But yeah, I'm just on, I'm on board. Yeah, I want this to work just like you guys, and we all literally want to go to the moon. Let's face it 100% to the moon, to the moon, gentlemen, ladies, to the moon. Uh, oh, this is a good question. Have you guys ever uh, thought about using SafeMoon and partnering with uh, health, science, and technology research fields? We've talked about it. You know, it's just how does that look? Um, what's the best way forward with those? And so we uh, internally we do have discussions regarding those, those specific fields and integrating with them. Well, I think we had uh, so. Um, there's a question from Twitch. How many did we burn? I can talk about what we burned today or the last 24 hours. We just announced 600, uh, 600 billion in a day over the day. So, I mean, our, our current burn rate is higher than our manual burns. So that's, that's pretty cool. I like that. Oh, um, that's a big question. Any airdrop plans? I'm going to cut this off at the head. No. Because uh, here in the States, airdrops, um, the, what the SEC gave guidance on airdrops. It's for, we're not gonna we're not gonna touch those. Sorry guys. Okay. Um. Uh. Somebody asked, will uh, SafeMoon ever be added to the pancake swap list? Uh, as you know, we surpassed cake. You know, SafeMoon is now bigger than cake. So, um... John, it's easy. It's just, you, you guys ask pancake. Tweet them, ask them. Yep. You guys ask them. Ask them. Ask pancake. At, what, I don't know what the at is, but you guys tweet them. Ask them. And make sure you put hashtag SafeMoon on there as well. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, we've already answered this before, but I'll just touch on it again. Um, we're working with Coin Market Cap and Coin Gecko, going back and forth and uh, getting all that stuff updated. So, oh, what about sponsorships? Uh, that could be really cool. Do we want to talk about the, the thing that you're going to there, Thomas? Okay, I guess we can. Um, next month. Um, April 21st to the 23rd, I'm going to be running the hackathon for the uh, Miami crypto experience. So anyone who's in Miami, um, if you'd like to throw together a hackathon team, um, we're going to be doing some interesting stuff over there. So I'll, I'll see you guys in Miami. <laughs> Very excited for that. And we'll be oh, a sponsor. They have a good Nobu in Miami. So make sure you go there, Tom. It's a great <laughs> okay. Nobu. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, here's one. Uh, is there an update on the Minecraft server? Uh, yes. I'm working on it. Uh, we are having daily meetings about uh, the infrastructure, the apps that we're doing going on. So uh, once once we have everything laid out, then I'll I'll get it online, and I will be assembling a team of people to help, like with building maps. Um, maybe you know taking a few volunteers who can help do plugins, things like that. So more information soon. Have you got questions in Discord, guys? Yeah. I'm yeah. not. I'm, uh, I'm not seeing. Anything I actually right just now. got. A, I just got a little question. For this is a little bit spammy, rag. You're not gonna like it. But uh, for Twitch, a little question. Where are you guys actually from? So most of you that are actually hold in SafeMoon, just comment your emoji flag or you know where you're from. Actually, where are you from? It's interesting to see. Uh, maybe shout a couple of names right now of where you're from and uh, just to see how spread SafeMoon is. Because today we actually had a Spanish influencer tweet about SafeMoon, which I need to comment on uh, the SafeMoon Twitter. But um. It's it's in oh yeah you got Danny from Netherlands you've got bad one from Iceland Germany you've got uh, Sweden you've got special Wheatnik from Netherlands Danny three one you've got Wales from Wales <laughs> you've got a super from Germany Phil Cake from De Denmark uh, Mexico yeah. Austria Canada 
all yeah. over. From Belgium. And this just shows how how spread wide this uh, the love is for Seikun, and um, I'm especially to you guys, the team. Like, wow, that's that's pretty uh, that's pretty cool. Where's Where's the uh, Safe Moon fan from Antarctica? Ooh, yeah. Where you they once popped up there. They once popped up there. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of Kenya, a lot of UK, a lot of Austria, def- obviously a lot of US, uh, Canada, um, Caribbean, France, Australia, Singapore. It's just, it's insane. It's insane to see the love spread worldwide. And um, yeah, that's a winner, man. <laughs> Rags R- like this. <laughs> 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 Back to questions, serious stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah, serious talk now. Come on. Um, yeah, also, asked, everybody, uh, if we could get a channel on uh, like another streaming platform. Um, so yeah, we can oh, we can uh, yes, we probably can. integrate uh, our our uh, RTMPS uh, backend, mm-hmm. and so we can stream on multiple platforms all at once. So yeah, we should definitely go into YouTube. Um, streaming on to YouTube. Next. We can do it all at the same time. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Back. yeah. Yeah. Cool. 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 Here's one. Uh, when are you guys getting verified on Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, Discord? Uh, Discord, we're waiting on a server age limit. Uh, yep. Twitch, we're waiting on, I think, after this AMA, two more hours of streaming, which I'm starting to work on. I just got the Twitch set up last night with gaming. Um, so I'm going to do two more hours of gaming. And- Oh, Hank, I'll email Twitch tomorrow, verified in there. Twitter, we're waiting on verification mark. We are from the team. Instagram, we actually need to decide on Instagram because there's a few yep. things to do, bro. Facebook, Facebook page will be verified end of this week. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll leave Discord. See you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're working that. Um... Hey, guys, can everybody give a shout-out to Ragnar for forwarding all these... Uh these messages to us he's really he's handling it really well in the back end let's get some love Ooh, chat. Rango. <laughs> yeah <I'm... laughs> can we get a live chat on the live stream while doing the ama that could be cool could be cool uh, yeah i think we had that at first yeah uh, i don't know what happened to that but yeah How long ago did Safe Moon start? Isn't it like twenty-two short? days ago? Yeah, I think uh, March eighth. I think March eighth. Did I mess up my numbers? I did. Yeah, March March eighth. Oh, okay. Yeah, twenty-two days ago. That's yeah. insane. Yep. Yeah. So, guys, for for a lot of the people who are, are like, oh, if you know why. Why are you moving faster? What's going on with your plans? Why wasn't your roadmap set up? It's because it started 22 days ago. <laughs> we're adjusting and we're pivoting so quickly. It's insane what we've been able to pull together in such a small amount of time. So you guys are awesome. Hey, uh, Ben, I, I just DM'd you in the Discord. Do we want to? Do we want to announce that or just uh, leave that? Brother, hang on, wait. I'm I'm on two mobile phones. Oh uh, yeah. Now. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait there. Wait, 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 wait. I'm looking. How the hell do I do this thing again? Oh no. <laughs> hang on. All good. <laughs> <laughs> you just dropped in the stream, man. <laughs> what day? What day is it today? Today is Tuesday. So you're saying. All right, listen, guys. I have my own team. Safemoon has their own team. We have Twitch channels. These guys have a Twitch channel. <laughs> and uh, listen, basically, Thomas comes out of nowhere being like, I'm a pro. I'm a pro player of... I don't know what he plays, something like that. Um, and, and Hank's a player. And John's... But anyway, these guys, as uh, I said, we should have a, a Valorant game, maybe on Friday. And we should do Team Safe Moon versus Team Sorry, bro. And- <laughs> Stream it on both channels. We're good, just a giggle. And maybe we should do Team Safe Moon versus Team Sorry, bro. Safe Moon holders, turn up to support Team Safe Moon. <laughs> <laughs> I will be turning up with my uh, my army as well. So we could do it for a lot. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's make it Friday, eight o'clock UK time, or seven seven thirty. Eight o'clock UK time, whatever time that is your end. What time is that your end? That's uh, four p.m. our time. 
on PM. Yeah, okay. Boys, you boys, right. listen. I'm gonna be All right, friendly. Let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. We'll uh, we'll put an announcement on the Discord. So oh, wait, wait. I won't be here at four PM. I'll be here at five PM. What? The, just, what, what just we'll uh, we'll announce the time. We'll announce the time on the Discord and uh, put that out there. But yeah, Team Sorry Bro versus Team Safe Moon. Team Safe Moon is uh gonna kick your ass. So <laughs> <laughs> you guys haven't played games in twenty two days. How do you expect to kick my ass? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I played an hour of COD yesterday while trying to figure out the Twitch thing. <laughs> We're playing Valorant. Tom, you're on the wrong game already. <laughs> uh, anyway, on that on that bombshell, on that note, um, we're going to go ahead and end this uh, AMA about that time. So I just want to thank everyone for uh, for watching. This will be posted up on the YouTube and it'll be uh, on, uh, on Twitch as well for you guys to watch later. And for those who are asleep, just pass it on. They got questions. Tell them to go watch the previous AMA because we probably already answered it. So uh, anyway, I want to thank the Safe Move community for uh, for watching. Uh, thank you, Thomas. Thank you, Trevor. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Hank, for uh, for being on this live stream. Um, and you guys have a good one. See you. Uh, see you on what is it? Tuesday. See you on Thursday. Safe Moon. See you on Thursday. See you guys. Bye, guys. Oh, come on. how do I close this thing? <laughs>